Hi everyone! Welcome to today's video. I'm Sophie Lou. Today I'm gonna do a mukbang and I'm gonna try this new sandwich. It is the Bomb Me Sandwich from the deli and it it looks really good. If you don't know what Bomb Me is, um, I think it has ham, roasted pork, um, what is that, cucumber, carrots, cilantro, um, and it's supposed to have jalapenos on it, but I got pepperoncinis instead. And I added Havarti cheese, mayonnaise, and honey mustard at the bottom. So, it looks really good. I'm gonna try it. Oh, and I have, I didn't save the can, but I have Hansen's, um, what flavor is this? I can't even think. Mandarin, a lime? I don't know, it's really good. And Doritos chips. I'm so hungry. I am at lunch at work and today has been a super busy day um, in case you don't know and you haven't watched my other videos I work in at a grocery store I work in their online shopping department I do their shopping when people order online and today has been kicking my ass it's a well my Friday but today is Sunday and today is the day that people tend to order for the entire week. So, it's a super busy day and I am ready to eat this. There it is. I hope this is good because it was expensive. Let's try it. Let's squish it together. That's really good. I love the produce on it. It's really good. It wasn't didn't come with variety. I I added that because it sounds without cheese. What is that? This is super good. Here it is again. I don't know if I'm just super hungry, but this is really good. You can really taste the cilantro. I've never had cilantro on a sandwich before, but it's kind of everything. Wow. I'm impressed. This is really good. I mean, the girl that made my sandwich, she's so sweet. I like her a lot. She's really nice. She's probably like 18. She's little. I mean, compared to me, I'm 34, so I think everybody's little. I did have my hair down, but I pulled it back into a ponytail because I mean business. Mm. 
I've been wanting to try this for a few days now. I've been thinking about it. And normally I bring my lunch to work, but today we didn't really have anything to bring from home. So, why not? Doritos. Tastes like Doritos. Hmm. Compared to the sandwich, I find them lacking. Hmm. Maybe if I get hungry later, I'll eat those. I want to save room for the sandwich though. I'm going to try and eat the whole thing. We'll see how far I get. Mm. They don't do I don't do a great job of picking out the stems from the cilantro, but other than that, the sandwich is amazing, and I don't have napkins. Mmm. That's okay. Mm. I almost to the end of my half. I'm not really talking, I'm just, I'm just eating. I'm starting to feel a little better. <clears throat> I desperately needed food. I was kind of waiting because I wanted to be hungry to eat the sandwich. Sometimes I eat something while I'm working and I don't feel super hungry for lunch. So. Jalapeno. No. Peppercini. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. And I'm only halfway through. Awesome. Some days I actually have to work for it. I like the pork. So this meat, I'm gonna try and show, turn it around here. This meat here on the bottom that you can see right here, that's pork and it's sliced. I didn't even know they did that, but it's really good, and it's got ham on it. Great flavor. Excuse me. So, this looks like it would be pretty easy to make yourself. So the sandwich itself doesn't come with condiments like mayonnaise, mustard, or cheese. It has, if you don't have some place near you that has a balmy sandwich like this, you do ham, roast pork, cucumbers, shredded carrots, cilantro, I think she put lettuce. I think there's lettuce on it. And jalapenos on a French roll. 
but you could do any variation that you like. But those are the basic ingredients. So good. Starting to feel <clears throat> a little bit full. Not gonna lie. But it probably won't stop me from finishing the sandwich. Because I still have four hours of my day left. mentioned that I think it's good. I feel like I should have something to talk about, but I don't. Oh well. I have been trying to teach myself how to knit. Um, you know, How's that going? It's going, um, well, I'm new at it. I have come across several problems. Um, the first problem is that the yarn, because I wanted to knit a beanie. I don't know why this paper is stuck. I wanted to knit a beanie, but my circular needles that I got were uh, too large. The circle is too big. And it didn't work. So I tried it with a different, and the yarn was too small. The size of the yarn was too small, which I didn't know that. No idea. That's how new I am to knitting. Never knitted before in my life. I've crocheted, but not enough to realize the weight of the yarn and the size of the needles matter. So, I might have a napkin because I really need one. One left. I'm getting this everywhere. It's on my steering wheel, which is where you guys are. Sorry. <clears throat> so those were a couple problems. The size of the circular needles, the size of the yarn. And then I realized I was, I did my cast on and then I realized that my stitches were too tight. And when I went to do the second round, the second row, I couldn't get my needle into the yarn. So I had to take it off and redo it. And I think I did that probably three or four times. And then I realized that my hands were cramping from trying to like hold the needles and like my palm like right here and it's just like and I was starting to get kind of irritated so I had to take a break and I think I practiced for like I did it for like I didn't do it last night but I did it the night before um, I might do it tonight because I think it's fun I really wanted to learn how to knit beanies 
and I will not give up just because it was hard. So, I've been watching YouTube videos. I like it. Just people, you know. I kind of like the people who don't do the editing as much. I like when videos seem real and not although I do like the ones that are edited Julian Solumida I think he's probably one of my favorite youtubers youtubers and I love that he's become a cooking channel I I used to watch his videos occasionally and I thought he did an amazing job with editing but now his cooking channel because I love watching people cook food and eat food and I love it I love his channel I see a new video of his and I'm like yes and I click on it it's awesome I love it I love him he's amazing I love his editing his sense of humor the food that he cooks is just really interesting So, yep. Wow. I can feel the bottom of my sandwich falling out. The bottom. Sound just fall. Yep. See, there it is. Oh, that was so close. That was almost my lap. This is turning into a mess. Really messy. Try and finish this.
20 minutes. I don't know how to keep my videos from being too long. I'm getting really full. But I'm gonna finish. I have a couple bites left. Okay, that's it. That's all I got. I'm not gonna eat these. I'm too full. So loud. <sighs> I'm gonna sit here and digest the rest of my break, lunch, have a whole hour. So I hope that you ate with me. If you got to this part of the video all the way to the end, thank you for watching. And like, because this food, that sound was amazing. So thumbs up for that. Subscribe, because I have one subscriber. Please. And lots of people roaming around free awkward so like subscribe and remember to be kind always bye guys